Hi there, so um, this is my first Game Gear mod, uh, or Game Gear ever in fact, um, and I recently did a recap and also installed the Ben Ven ISP uh, wireless mod, um, and I didn't feel like there was much information out on the web on how to do this, so I'm doing this in, in hopefully this is useful to someone else. Um, so I'm just going to walk through not the actual installation, but how I uh, connect it up and the things that I kind of ran into that I think would be useful uh, to know. It might be worth just watching this through. It's I only expect it to be a few minutes um, and then kind of go back and kind of like look at the detail. Um, so the starting point is to remove um, uh, some parts. So I'm just going to pause this and kind of get rid of the game and flip it over. So the starting point was to um, remove the LCD. Um, so I just basically covered uh, the ribbon with uh, flux and then just kind of slowly ran along it with um, my soldering iron. Um, and I wanted to kind of maintain, I'm not sure how well that's focusing, but I wanted to maintain uh, the pins on this in case I needed to use it again. The next part is to remove the fluorescent bulb. I literally snipped the wires on each end, which are kind of, uh, I guess, here. Um, snipped it and just lifted it straight out. Um, this coil needs to be removed, R29, I believe. Um, is it R? No, it's not. That's a resistor. Uh, whatever, this Q, the, maybe Q2. Either way, this coil needs to be removed as well. And those are the only things you have to remove. Um, I've seen tutorials um, on the wired version that remove these fuses. You don't need to, but you can. One thing I did notice is that the um, fuses on the other side where the um, the wire pokes through, you make sure that's flush. If that's not flush, then the display won't sit properly. So you need to make sure that you either remove those completely or take flush cutters to remove the, um, uh, the solder on the other side. So once the board is ready, the starting point with a flex cable is to really start down here. So this is the... Let's see if we can get some focus. The second pin in from the cart slot is where you kind of hook this bit of the uh, flex cable. So hook that over, solder it down. And then what I did is I uh, took some caps on tape to tape this down. And then I was able to solder each one of these uh, points onto the uh, display ribbon. Each one of these are test points. So it's useful to test uh, SMS has got a, a, a continuity to this pin and each one of these um, test points have continuity of the pins that they point to. So it's pretty easy to kind of trace these down to their individual uh, pins. Ground is this one down here. Um, so I actually finished the mod and I was testing ground and I found that it didn't have, I didn't have ground continuity. So I was just taking ground and, and just kind of testing it up to uh, this point. It's a nice big ground plane. Um, it wasn't working, it's because I didn't have uh, a decent joint just here. So once that's done, uh, the next part that I did was to take this part of the ribbon, uh, fold it back on itself, and then solder into uh, M11, and I believe it's M12, these two points here. Um, once that was done, I then went to put the um, display in because I needed to work on the other side. Um, I start off by just putting the bracket in without the display itself. So that actually made it easier to kind of screw it in and get it aligned properly. So um, what I did with it was to kind of roughly line up the um, bracket on the back side. I start off with this screw. Um, this screw kind of anchors in and helps me get it aligned. Once that was anchored in, I then kind of worked on this screw. Um, and then loosely screwed in these two parts so that I had room to slide the display in and then I tightened it up. Once that was done, then the board was kind of stable and uh, not moving around. But um, I just found it difficult or tricky to do it with the actual display um, and it worked just fine. I had kind of put enough force to get into the, into the bracket while it wasn't installed. So the... Um, the next part that I had tackled was to uh, bend the ribbon up 
and then solder onto each one of these points and it, it, it lays onto it pretty obviously. Um, you solder these, uh, this kind of row of uh, points, there's three points underneath here and there's a fourth point just here under on uh, R2. Um, something to note is that the screen when it's installed has the Ben Ben IPS installed, like the text is what I would call the right way up. Everything else on the board is the wrong way up. Um, so this is what you use for kind of orientation. So once those parts are soldered on, this is a separate part. Um, I then move to um, folding back this T10. Um, there's a couple of points here that have got T10. I'm, it's because there are different Game Gear boards. Um, I have a European um, Game, board, Game Gear board. Um, I'm really still unsure whether it's a, a, a uh, was it VA1 or VA0. I think it's VA1 because it's European, but I don't know what that means. But either way, um, I obviously didn't have a point to tack this down to. Um, and this T10 just here, if I can kind of squeeze in, is where I soldered T10 to. Now, the official directions that are on Ben Ben's website uh, doesn't talk about the flex uh, cable it talks about just the wired approach and uh, the wired version joins t10 to t11 which is just over here um and i actually check continuity and that that will work so i knew that was uh correct the um in fact pretty just before that i also insulated this this line here this uh this clock um so i've just got some caps on tape here folded around uh the front and back um so that it doesn't kind of create a connection to that cap that's sitting underneath it. And then the next part was to solder on the clock connection. So that goes to FB1. Um, so it's not kind of a straight line down, but you can see it makes good connection to FB1. That's the clock. Um, and I tested for continuity from the clock here across to wherever the clock is over here. Um, there are a couple of points here which I should probably insulate. I mean, they're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to touch anything. Um, but I'll probably insulate that or cut it off completely. Um, and this point, when it's a different type of board, I believe this pins is, uh, goes down to something on the board. At the moment, I don't have it going to anything. Um, and it doesn't connect to anything underneath. It's literally sitting on top of the chip. So then the last part was to um, get, there's a, a second ribbon, kind of a long, thin ribbon, that goes the way I threaded it was to go underneath this main um, ribbon um, and then out into the front of the board. I've seen a video where it soldered to uh, the back side of the board, but because I didn't know where it was connecting, I, I wasn't sure what to do, and threading it seemed straightforward to me. So um, if we look at the front side, we can see it kind of threads out. Um, and then it kind of like takes a, a, a left turn up into M16, which I believe is the, I don't know, maybe the controls for changing the mode basically. Um, but you want to make sure that this right angle is the right way around. Um, it was a little bit tricky to kind of thread it once I had the screen in, so you might want to do that beforehand, but um, it, it was doable, so it's not a big deal. So once that's all installed, uh, the job is done. I went through and tested with continuity um, just to make sure that certainly, um, where is it, ground, ground was grounded, so I just took ground to a nice big plane like this, um, and that's where I found that I've missed it. Um, I haven't checked it inside of the, uh, the Game Gear shell yet to see if the screen's aligned, but I, I should be able to just loosen the, um, the screws a little bit and just kind of uh, get it working, but otherwise... It works, as you saw at the beginning of the video. Um, so those are all the connection points. Hopefully that's useful to anyone who's got the exact same board as me. Um, and uh, thanks for watching.